Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at codes, and that is letter and number codes. Okay, nine letters of the alphabet have been encoded. You need to work out which letters have been assigned to which numbers in order to crack the code. And we've got the example. The number three appears twice at the beginning of the two words, so this number must represent the letter C. And we can see here it is that we've got cat and cog. The numbers two and four feature in two of the words in the same position, dog and cog. Uh, they must represent the letters O and G. And this allows you to work out that one represents D. The numerical form of act does not appear, but you'll now be able to deduce it must be written six, three, five. Great. So now we've got our own examples. Four words have been encoded and you're given the numerical forms of three of them. So the code for which word is not given above. So we need to crack the code. So let's start looking for similarities. We can often look at them at the beginning or end of words. So we've got antler, starts with an A and an R. Learn, starts with an L, ends with a T. Ranges, starts with an R. So that could give us a clue. Or travel, starts with a T and ends with an L. And actually we can see that learnt and travel both start with the opposite letters and end with the opposite letters. And actually we can see in this code here that there is one word that starts with eight and ends with seven. And another one that starts with seven and ends with eight. So these two must be learnt or travel. So let's see if we can crack any other codes with this, what we can figure out. So let's look at what the E might be, because we can see that travel has E at the end and learnt has it just at the start. So we can see that this code has nine as its second number. And then when we go across this one, we can see that it has nine as its penultimate number. And that shows us that this code represents learnt and that this one represents travel. And we can just do a quick check as well. We know they both have R's. So if that's right, then this R must be six. And then we can see that six is in the fourth place here as appropriate with learnt. So let's put those codes there. Eight, nine, three, six, five, seven. And then travel, seven, six, three, one, nine, eight. Okay, so now we just need to figure out this one and we can look for clues with what we have here. So we know that with antler, a three is an A and actually this word doesn't begin with an A. And then we can see that the code this word represents doesn't begin with an A and actually it begins with an R because we know that six is R. So six, three, five, two, nine, four is ranges. So the word that is missing is antler. We don't have the code for antler. Now, what is the code for late? So we know that with from learnt and travel, the L is eight. We know that A is a three. We know that T is seven. And we know that E is nine. So the code for late is eight, three, seven, nine. Now, what word is D seven, six, three, five, two, nine? So four, we know that four is S from ranges. Seven, we know that seven is T from travel and learnt. Six, we know that six is R from learnt ranges and travel. Three, we know that three is A from learnt ranges and travel too. Five, we know that five is N from learnt and ranges. Two, we know that two is G from ranges. There it is, two. And nine, we know that nine is E from travel, learnt and ranges. So strange is our word. So that concludes today's lesson on our verbal reasoning paper. As always, I'll talk to you in the next video. Students can now utilize our entire library of over 150 video lessons and 1,500 exam style questions dedicated towards the 11 plus exam covering English, maths, verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. 